Welcome to Someday You'll Return, it's Abyss, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to get all five of the endings. Now remember to hit that like button and subscribe to help support the channel. Alright, so in the beginning of each ending, I'm going to quickly explain how to unlock them. I will have more information in the pinned comment along with timestamps for the start of each ending. All right, so for the first one, this is very simple. You're just gonna walk the opposite direction you're supposed to go. Your character will basically say a couple of things. Doesn't really show you much, but I'll just leave it at that, and then I'll pick it back up at the next ending. I've got a strong temptation to just leave her here, and go home and play a video game. Why exactly should I pick her up anyway? I bring her back, she runs away. It's a never-ending loop. Fuck it, I'm going home. Okay, so for the second ending, is called the Beast Ending, you're going to destroy all of the hearts. So from chapter 10 and on, you have two options, Purify, Destroy. You're going to destroy every single heart from chapter 10 and on. Okay, so for the next ending, you're going to purify all the hearts from chapter 10 and on. Now, here's a tip. Uh, you can check your autosave and see if you have one from the start of chapter 10. The last ending is real easy to do, so you can kind of speed through that one really quick. Then go to your menu, check and see if you have an autosave from the start of chapter 10, reload that, and then go and purify all the hearts. This will unlock the destroy the clock ending.
Okay, so for the next ending, which is the rewound the clock ending, you're going to have to purify all the hearts again from chapter 10 and on. But when you get to the last dungeon in chapter 11, don't go down the ladder. You want to continue forward until you get to another room with a bunch of fire. In that room, you will find your last fairy tale collectible. So that's how you know you're in the right spot. But there is a secret passageway that will give you one last opportunity to charge your crystal with those flies again. Once you do that, then you're going to continue on to the end of the game and then to the right of the clock, you will be able to use your crystal one last time to get the rewound the clock ending.
All right, so for the last ending, which is the best one in the game, which is Stella's ending, you're going to need to purify all the hearts from chapter 10 and on. But first, in chapter 5, after you get the doll from the castle, you're going to learn a new potion which will allow you to listen to the hidden stories within the game. You're going to need to locate every single one of them, but I will have a guide for that in the pinned comment. Now, what happens when you listen to the hidden stories? This is going to help you unlock Stella's diary. You need to unlock almost all of the pages in order to get the best ending, along with purifying all the hearts from chapter 10 and on. So check out the pinned comment for my guide on where those diary pages are located at. Other than that, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to support the channel. And I will see you next time. And that was my last. I won. I won. <laughs> <laughs> You're playing well. That was fun. Let's play again. Thank you, Dad. But I'm going outside now. Oh, all right. Just don't go too far. You know where we are.